Hi, good morning, my dear children. I hope uh, you all of you understood whatever we had discussed in the previous classes, especially those classes or live classes which I conducted. And then first time, I am going to explain through the recorded classes. So I request you, dear students, before going to explain or start the sessions uh, through this uh, recording. If you have any doubts, if you are not understanding any concept, whatever I am going to explain in the class. So please, it is my kind request. Feel free to ask the questions and even to clear your doubts. So please don't feel hesitate. You are very free to ask regarding subject only and then don't ask any other things. Okay. I hope you all of you collected some of the textbook and then still uh, so I think uh, uh, two more textbook needs to be collected. So not yet uh, came those books are. So that's what I am going to continue in the geography section only. Already uh, the maximum of the things learnt in the live classes in a geography section, especially the hearth in the solar system. Dear students, it is really one of the interesting topic and it is really uh, the amazing one and if you are going to study about this chapter, then the whole year it is not enough to learn. Why? Because so it is not possible to finish within uh, uh, two, three pages or within uh, three to four or five periods in this chapter. Because the topic itself, the topic itself, is the universe one, is so vast, there are a lot of things are there to learn. So anyhow, just I would like to remember whatever you learned in the live classes, once again I would like to remind you all those things. See, uh, just I am going to I remember in this class, actually I should start from the earth, the one of the third nearest planet where we are living, the beautiful planet in this solar system. So before that again I would like to focus some of the other topic also. See my dear students, so please keep it in your mind, already I told that very clearly regarding solar system. So the solar system. What is this? The solar system is consists of the different celestial bodies, especially where the sun is the center. The solar system is consists of planets, satellites, and other celestial bodies such as the asteroids and meteorites and so on. So, and in this family, the sun is a center one is the head of the family, the sun is a head of the family and because of that we used to call as the solar system. So my dear students you may have observed uh, during night time the beautiful sky there are so many things are twinkling on the sky especially during night. See all those are the different celestial bodies. Maybe star, maybe satellite, maybe planet, maybe some of the other objects. It's including the, uh, including the artificial satellites also, which are actually uh, launched by human beings by the different countries also. See, along with this, we are watching some other also, like uh, asteroids and meteorites. So regarding this, we are going to learn. So, in the next classes onwards. See, you all of you know that every day we are experienced, we are getting experience. You know that almost all when we are watching the sky, so the two new, I mean the wonderful things we are enjoying, that's about the moon. See, the full moon day, the full moon day, the moon is appeared from the heart, it is the complete one face of the moon. And usually that day used to call as a, 
uh, it is called as a purnima or purnima in that name we are coming and the same day students so on fine day so it's actually the time is going to take for this process for full moon day and then for new moon day so it's happened twicely in a month 15 days and one fine day we cannot see even a small part of the moon also it is completely disappeared and that day used to call as a new moon day and even it is well known as even in Kannada it is called as a Amavasa it is called as a Amavasa so like that there are so many amazing facts amazing things amazing so it is so beautiful to enjoy you know that when the small kids are crying and then they are uh, uh, troubling their parents, they used to show the sky and the child start to enjoy the sky and then whatever the objects uh, appearing on the sky. See dear students, including the sun, because the sun, uh, please keep it in your mind, there are many stars are there in the film. But the only thing that the sun is a nearest star to the hour. The sun is one of the nearest star. The sun is one of the star. Please make it clear. The sun is one of the star. See, including the sun, the moon and all other the objects which are shining in the night. So, Together, all used to call as a celestial body. Celestial bodies. So, my dear students, these are the shining objects. Then don't feel whether all the weather now the morning, the moon also one of the shining object during night time. So please keep it in your mind, the moon is not going to produce its own heat and light. Actually, it's a received and reflect from the sun. It's a reflect from the sun. Are you getting now? But even though it's a reflect, it's shining during night time because of the sun. Because of the sun. See, the shining objects which are shining including moon whether they are receiving light from the sun or reflects from the sun so the sun the moon and the planets and the other planets or asteroids or meteorites so together all together the different objects whatever we are observing are shining objects in the sky so together we used to call as a celestial bodies see these celestial bodies some are big and then some are small. So, the size of these celestial bodies are very different. Very different. So, and some of the celestial bodies so big and some of the celestial bodies are so small. It's very different. And also dear students, these celestial bodies are so hot also. The celestial bodies are so hot also. And these celestial bodies basically made up of gas. Basically made up of gas. See, all the celestial bodies, including our earth once upon a time. So I think in our classes you are going to discuss or you are going to learn in a deep way that is about the origin of the earth, the origin of the sun, the origin of the solar system, then we came to know and then we can understand regarding all these things. So, according to the Big Bang theory, there are so many theories are there regarding the origin of this universe and then as well as the origin of the uh, solar system or the, I mean including all how the different planets, satellites and so on. So on. See, Basically, these celestial bodies are <coughs> made up of hot gases. I mean, the different gases. It's so hot. And they have their own heat and light. Then once again, I would like to remember. 
so all the celestial bodies no only the sum of the celestial bodies see which are the celestial bodies because the satellites are producing their own light and heat and the planets are not going to produce their own heat and light including our earth because our earth is not going to produce its own heat and light so actually we are <coughs> getting the heat from light one of our nearest star from the sun only so please keep it in your mind which are the celeste i mean the objects made up of gases almost all the bodies whether the moon whether the planets whether the satellites whether the asteroids whether the meteorites so and so things see which are the celestial bodies they are producing their own heat and light and which they emit in large amounts so these celestial bodies we used to call as a star we used to call as a star so please keep in your mind we are not going to call all the objects which ever we are enjoying in the night are appearing in the sky all those are not the stars which are the celestial bodies producing their own heat and light so only those celestial bodies are used to called as a star see dear students the sun also one of the star and which is the nearest star to the earth so because of this reason there are many stars are there there are many stars are there in the sky but the sun is the nearest star to the earth then our earth receiving heat and light from the sun see in this countless twinkling stars so the only one star which is nearest to the earth the sun this is only the center of our solar system so dear students it is so big the stars are and very 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 far from us if suppose if it is near sometimes even in this much of so far also there sometimes during specially the summer season we can't bear the temperature of our earth especially in some of the area we cannot imagine we cannot stay also then we cannot come out of the earth so that's much of temperature even if it is the so nearest to the earth, then what about the condition so we cannot imagine my dear students we cannot imagine so dear students uh, regarding stars i would like to tell you one more one more uh, very interesting thing see uh, these are the different stars i mean there are uncountable stars are there see when we are while watching the sky during night time there we can see the different patterns the different patterns see that means the different group of the stars they are making different patterns and these patterns we used to call as a constellations please keep in your mind that patterns are called as a constellations what is meant by constellations so constellations means so the group of the stars uh, form the various kind of patterns and these patterns are and these patterns are used to called as a constellations means the group of the stars the group of the stars form the various patterns and these patterns are called as a constellations 
So here, uh, uh, please uh, look your textbook page number two. There we can see the different patterns of the stars. One of the small girl, so watching the sky, and then you see there the patterns. See, uh, there is a the different. Uh, so especially one big bear is one such constellation is there, which is called as a Usameze. And one of the most easily recognizable constellation is the that is called as the Sapta Rishi. Sapta Rishi. That means Sapta means seven, Rishi means sages. There are seven stars are there. You see that the group of that seven stars. So this is one of the constellations. That means the group of the seven stars are together formed a pattern. And that seven stars used to call as a Sapta Rishi constellation. Sapta means seven Rishi means sages. Actually, in our uh, tradition, in uh, according to Hindu mythology, so there are seven uh, sages are there, and each stars indicates the respective sage. Are you getting now, dear students? And the another one you see, please. <coughs> The another one thing you see there, see there is a star which indicates the north direction that is called as a so pole star. So actually in ancient time to find out the direction, so our ancestors they are actually following these things. According to that so they are actually recognized so other directions so which direction is the south north east west or southeast southwest northeast northwest like that so always the north star indicates the north direction and this star is called as a pole star see it always remains it always remains in the same positions in the sky. Are you getting now? And I already I told that regarding that Sapta means seven and then Rishi means sage. So there are seven sages. I mean the sages names are put into that. I mean indicates the swords. I mean according to Hindu mythology. Each star indicates the respective sages. <laughs> So, this is about the stars, my dear students. Already I told, this is only the brief descriptions. I am sorry. This is what? On the brief inscriptions about the stars. Now, let us come to the planets. Let us come to the planets. See, the celestial bodies. The celestial bodies, even though please keep in your mind, these planets are also made up of gas. These planets also made up of gas, but these celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. But stars are having their, producing their own heat and light. But the planets are not producing their own heat and light and they are lit by the light of the stars. They are, I mean, the planets are lit by the light of the stars. They are receiving the heat, I mean the light. They are not producing their own. And those celestial bodies we used to call as planets, which are the planets are not producing or do not producing their own heat and light and they are lit by the light of the stars and those celestial bodies are called as a planets. Is it clear? See, the word planet, the word planet actually it comes from the Greek word planetai. So, this word planet this comes from Greek word planeta. Planet 
this word is actually derived from the Greek word planetai. So, what is the meaning of planetai? Planetai means wanderers. Planetai means wanderers. The meaning of planetai means wanderers. This is what the meaning of the planet. So, once again, I would like to clear, dear students, regarding this. So, which are the celestial bodies? They do not have their own heat and light. Their own heat and light. And those celestial bodies are called as a, called as a planet. And these planets are actually lit by the light of the stars. They are reflect. See, the word planet, it's derived from the Greek word planetai. That means wanderers. Planet means, or planetai means wanderers. See, dear students, where we are living, this planet used to call as the earth, you all of you very well know. So, the earth on which we live is a planet. This is also one of the planet, our earth also. And our earth gets all its heat and light from the sun, we all of us that. So I think uh, there is no need to explain a lot about this. Because our earth is one of the planet and already we know that planets are <laughs> do not have their own heat and light. So they, lit, they are lit by the light of the stars. They are lit by the light of the stars and our earth receiving heat and light from the sun. Why? Because so sun is a nearest star to the earth. Sun is a nearest star to the earth. So please that you have to keep in your mind. See, if we look from the earth, so the sun it looks small size. I think we may uh, observed during only sunset and during only sunrise, it may look a little big. Are you getting now? And during night time, dear students, we can observe the another one object or celestial bodies which is reflecting, which is called as a moon. So, during night time, so, which we are observing one of the shining celestial body that is called a moon. The moon is a natural satellite of our earth. So, our planet earth, the earth is having only one satellite that is moon. So, please keep in your mind the satellite also. So, the satellites also like planets only, they, have, they do not have their own heat and light. Then how? It looks or uh, it's a shining because of the same, how the other planets are receiving heat and light, the same way the moon also and other satellites also receiving heat and light from the sun. So, that's what. So, the moon also shining during night time that too only 15 days because we all of you know that just now I told and even in the live class also explained about which we call as a, the full moon day and then new moon day. See the moon that we see in the sky is a satellite and it is a companion of our heart and moves around it. So please this is another one thing the planets are revolves around its their own axis and as well as in the same time the planets are revolves around the sun also. See our earth also revolves around the sun so because of that so we are experiencing we are getting we are observing we are enjoying day and night. Understood. So, it's a spin on its own axis at the same time. So, the earth revolves around the sun and the same way, dear students, the satellite also, I mean the moon, our natural satellite of the earth, the moon is also 
so it revolves around the heart so like that our earth there are remaining seven other planets are there which are they are not producing their own heat and light and then which the the other seven planets which are receiving or get the heat and light from the sun understood and the satellites also the same there are many satellites are there in our solar system and remaining this the seven planets and remaining some of the other interesting fact we are going to learn in the next class i hope you all have understand so what are the celestial bodies what are the constellations what for what we used to call as a planets and for what we used to call as a stars and so on so even though my dear students if you are not getting anything so please you can ask me you can call me also and the next class we are going to learn about the same topic so under the solar system which is including the sun and then uh, the planets satellites and some of the other celestial bodies which are now as a asteroids and meteorites thank you have a nice day